Hello guys and thank you for watching today's video. So today we're setting up the Raspberry Pi for the first time. I'm going to show you what you need. I'm going to show you how to get a good operating system on it. <coughs> and finally we're going to have a look at that operating system. So what we're going to get is we're going to get Ubuntu which is basically Linux. I think it's way better than the Raspbian. So to do that you'll need a Raspberry Pi. It doesn't matter if it's a 1 or 2. There are slight differences. The 1 only has 2 USBs and has half the RAM. Um, and then you'll also need a Wi-Fi adapter, unless you want to be using an Ethernet cable. You'll need uh, a micro SD card with an adapter and a USB adapter. Um, you'll need a mouse. mouse. <coughs> you'll need a keyboard. And you'll need an HDMI cable and a monitor. So I'm going to show you on the computer what you need to do at first. So you need to plug in your micro SD card. And then you need to go to this website, ubuntumate.org slash raspberry pi, and download it. And then it'll download it down there. Once it's downloaded, and then I'm just going to show all the downloads so I can find it. So that might take five minutes or so. It'll, it probably shouldn't take that long, but it should take just less than five minutes. When that's downloaded you need to find it, you need to open it in WinRAR. Now WinRAR is an extraction thing so you can extract files from zips. So you need to press an extract to and then find the location. Okay. Next. Right, next you need to go to program files and find or well no you need to download and then find something called a disk for uh, an SD formatter so open the SD formatter you'll need to allow it to make changes to your computer and then you need to format the drive so you need to plug it in and press on format then after you formatted your drive you need to get open your disk writer no SD writer or whatever it's called let me just find it sorry about this one then let me just find it image writer that's it image writer you need to open the disk imager or image writer or whatever you want to call it and then it says here image file. So you need to open that extracted image file in whatever location it is. Then, um, so you've opened it, you need to select the drive and you need to be very, very, very careful about selecting the right one. Because if you select the wrong one, that can be very bad. It, well, it'll basically just ruin it for you. Okay, when you've done that, it should have loaded onto your SD card. So you need to connect up your Raspberry Pi. So go to your Raspberry Pi. <coughs> connect all of the keyboard and mouse and HDMI cables to it. <coughs> so give me one second to connect all of these. And then also your Wi-Fi adapter, wherever that's gone, it's underneath here, the Wi-Fi adapter, let me just switch my light on, um, and then plug in your SD card, so that will be on the bottom here, there we go, um, and then finally, you need to connect it to a power supply. There. <clears throat> then it should light up. Then go to your screen. It'll have four Raspberry Pi logos in the corner. Then it'll say Ubuntu Mate. I'm going to turn my light off again.
So it might take a few minutes to load, but when it's loaded, here you have it. It's a really nice, um, really nice operating system for Raspberry Pi. So I'll just show you around it and some of the things it comes with. So let me just... Right. So in the top left here, we have the applications. And then it comes with Scratch, all of these stuff, Minecraft Pi, some graphics software, and then YouTube Downloader, Mail, Internet Messenger, Hextract and Firefox. comes with all the LibreOffice things, as well as a document viewer and a dictionary comes with loads of Python software and a thing called Sonic Pi but I don't have a clue what it is um, and then sound and video it comes with stuff like VLC media player system tools stuff like package installer that's useful and then universal access just like things for like screen read, screen magnifier stuff like that and if you go to places it's got like all of your um, your home folder, your desktop, or your recent documents. And then it's system, you've got your administrative things, so like printers, the network, time and date, all that stuff. Then up here you've got sound, Wi-Fi, you'll need to connect to a Wi-Fi, but I've already connected mine. And then time and date, and then, what's this here? Shut down the computer. And down here you've got different tabs, and this takes you to desktop. So let's just launch Firefox and you can see the browser. Um, because this is just such a powerful um, operating system, way better than Raspbian I think, some things do take quite long to load. And here you have Google, and then if I was to, I don't know, go to YouTube, youtube.com this is going to google youtube.com I only just realised that so this is just going to show you what exactly it does so look how fast it is this is a 30 pound computer and this is running extremely fast faster than my laptop does well because my laptop's rubbish and here we have it youtube look how fast that loaded I don't know let's have a look at this pokemon advert So this is just showing you how fast it actually runs. So I'm just going to turn my sound up. Celebrating all Pokemon trainers. <coughs> so look how fast this is. It can just play videos like that. Suppose I'm stupid Pokemon. I don't like Pokemon. Right, so yeah, that shows you how fast it is. Now, you might be wondering, well, what else can I do with it? You've paid £30 for this and it can do everything your normal computer can do. Well, you want to get some electronics in. So this is, my this is one of my electronics um, files, or folders or whatever. Um, <coughs> so you want to get some of them in. Um, some more electronics and stuff. You want to get some electronics in and then you can prototype them. And the GPI opens. So that is the Raspberry Pi at a glance. I've shown you how to set it up and what you'll need. Thanks for watching.